Yo, Chivo Gaming, Ortiz X Euro Review. For all my fireheads, this is a set for you. The Ortiz X Zero gear set revolves around the incinerator turret. The two piece gives you 20% increased burn duration. Put in the burn duration somewhere in between my Eclipse Protocol build and my total status effect build with 12 seconds of burn time. Mid. The two piece also gives you 15% skill health. Mid mid. In my opinion, this does nothing because the NPCs are not going to be focused on destroying your turret. They're going to be burning. The three piece is okay, giving you 40% burn damage. It's not much I could say here. 40% burn damage is good and I'll take it, pushing the burn damage to 200k per tick for 12 seconds. If build with all status effects, attributes, and gear pieces. The four piece unlocks the Ortiz incinerated turret prototype. The incinerated turret spins 360 and you're immune to your own incinerated turret's fire. Also, your turret would explode when disabled. Finally, it's a shame you have to build a gear set to make your turret do a 360. The skills should already do that. It was like that in the Division 1. It took them 5 years to do this. Whatever. Chess piece talent. Chain combustion. Enemies set on fire ignite other enemies within 2 meters. It's okay I guess for those enemies outside of the range of your turret. But are 2 meters closer to the burning victim. It's like a baby creeping death. Backpack talent. Heat stroke. Gives you 25% weapon damage to enemies set on fire by your turret and 25% extra range. So it will go from 15 to 19 meters. Not bad, giving you a large radius to cook in. The stats. Cooldown is 35 seconds with three skill haste mods. I think the base cooldown is 50 seconds. Duration is 30 seconds. Health is 6 million. Damage is 53k. Range with the backpack is 19 meters, 15 without. Burn damage, 200k. And burn duration is 12 seconds. Built with status effects in mind. PvP damage is 42k. And burn damage is 34k. I'm not gonna front. I came into this season with low expectations. And at first glance of this gear set, I was not impressed. I felt like the turret should have been doing the 360 from the beginning and you should not need a gear set to unlock this ability. The two piece is mid, the three piece is okay, and the four piece makes it go round. I can live without the chest piece and backpack talents, although the backpack gives you that extra range which is nice but not necessary. The cooldown for the turret is a little bit long and can be countered with skill haste attributes and mods. Sacrificing your skill damage or status effect attributes, which I don't recommend. You can also go for chess piece talents, skilled, perfectly skilled, or tag team. Or you can simply place the turret down, lighting enemies on fire, then quickly picking it back up to shorten down the cool time, which to me is the best method. Overcharge doesn't seem to make it come back any quicker. I tried using it and I didn't notice the difference. The BTSU gloves bring it back quick when destroying your hive, but you'll get caught in the cooldown for your gloves and the turret. It's not worth it in my opinion. Depending on your playstyle, you could choose from three specializations to run with. The firewall for 20% burn duration and a flamethrower. I didn't know they changed the burn damage to burn duration. I guess they didn't want fire skills to be OP. You can choose the technician specialization for 10% skill damage, skill tier, and damage to robotics, or survivalist specialization for the 10% damage to targets with status effects for your team, incinerary grenade, and 10% protection from elites. Overall, I really like playing with this set because it's fire, my favorite element. And the only downside for this set is the cooldown and going against robotics. Fire doesn't damage them and your guns don't hit hard enough to take them out without burning through a bunch of ammo in the process. 
My suggestion on how to use this set is to build into status effects heavy and then skill damage and then skill haste on the mods. Place the turret down to catch enemies on fire, picking it back up to shorten the cooldown, and then using your pyromaniac or weapon with ignited to pick off the burning enemies. Rinse and repeat. Secondary skill I like to use is the air burst seeker mine. It has a pretty quick cooldown, high damage, high burn damage, and high burn duration. The fire chem launcher is pretty good too depending on how you like to play. I give this set an 8 out of 10 and will be playing around with it to come up with some nice builds. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the set and how you like to run it. Until next time, I'm out.